Hey, it's Honey Bear. Just going to give a quick tutorial on how to do the daily plunder. Um, I'm going to be winging this, knowing, you know, based on my past experience in this game. Um, the only thing I did before recording this is I pulled up a message that was sent out to the Alliance that says what the nap is, which is top 12. And um, so I... All I really know is I'm not supposed to hit the top 12 alliances. And if you don't know how to even check that, you just go to the main menu, rank, and then alliance power, and these are the top alliances. So when they say nap 12, they mean don't hit anybody with this rank or higher. When you're first starting out on a server, I'd probably give yourself a little extra leeway because sometimes there's alliance changes and like there's like a a shared alliance you can go into so i'd probably just since it's nap 12 i might avoid everything up to 14. so essentially 15 and below is pretty much open game um i took a screenshot of these ranks so that i can kind of refer to them off screen but otherwise you know you can kind of look around find a target and as long as they aren't in this rank then you should be good to go all right so then how do you actually find somebody to plunder i mean you literally just scroll around the map you could try some of these castles that are right near your alliance hive but typically other people in your alliance are going to be hitting those and so like if i scout this you know player here um, before you even scout it there's a quick little intel thing you can do you hit player info just look at troop power. I mean, you could see the fact it's zero troops. They've been hit very recently. So the odds of this having any resources are very slim. But just to prove the point, I'm just going to hit go here, scout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For fervor, whatever, I don't care. Takes 10 seconds. Now, while that's going, um, where should you go? If you pull up the map, you can kind of figure out where you are. Um, Usually alliances will set up their hives kind of near the Empire City just because all the level 7 resources are around here. And I would probably just assume that anything towards Empire City from your hive is going to be pretty contested. So what you probably want to do is just start scrolling away from, you know, figure out what direction Empire City is in reference to your hive and kind of go away from it. So I'm just going to kind of start scrolling up this way along the map and just kind of seeing what I can find. So I'll just quickly check that scout. And this is, yeah, no resources. Um, so yeah, let's just let's take a look, right? Um, I would try to find castles 10 or higher. It doesn't really matter. It's just they're probably going to have more resources. Um... So I'm just skipping all these really low levels. Now this is a newer kingdom, so maybe I do need to use a lower level castle. And so far, I'm only seeing low levels. So yeah, I might have to lower my standards just a little bit. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna scout these. So the reason is because if they're in an alliance, when you hit them, they're not going to warp away. Um, usually it's not a problem, but sometimes if you hit untagged players, they'll like warp away if they take too much damage. So these ones all have tags. They should be good. Um, there's also a rule on this server about not hitting people in hives. These people are grouped together, but there's no alliance center. There's no territory, so it should be fine. Oh, and there's actually somebody here who's a little bit higher level. So maybe I'll do all these. And then just real quick, you want to double check the tags. Okay, we got turd seven, <laughs> I don't know. TRD seven, M-I-S-H, you know, you can just quickly go here, look in the top, you know, 12, is there M-I-S-H or turd seven? No, so should be fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and send out these scouts. Um, While these are going, I'll just reiterate a point or a suggestion that someone else had, which is um, 
when you do the kill events, if you're actively doing those. I mean, if you're doing those, you're probably beyond just doing your daily plunder. And really, if you're watching this, it's because you're kind of newer and you're like worried about attacking people because all these rules about engaging players are really complicated. So most likely you aren't doing the kill event. But once you're doing the kill event, I mean, essentially you'll have targets that you'll have hit before and you can just save the location of that castle um, to your favorites list and that will essentially let you be able to find it later and so yeah if you're doing the kill event you'll have plenty of reference targets you can use but when you're just starting out you got to kind of do some recon like this so let's see what our scouts show here so that's pretty low low I'm looking probably for like 500k is what would be interesting. So all those are low. I'm not going to bother. Just wait for the scouts to go back. Um, this one could be promising. Let's just check their power. Okay, 231. So that's not super high. Like, you know, I'm a pretty low power C20 at this point. I'm like 3 million. So, you know, someone who's sub million is usually going to be pretty small. Whether they're active or not, it's a little tough. I mean, you'll kind of just have to see what happens once you start engaging them. If they just send one generic response, it's probably just a bot. So I wouldn't worry about that. Um, but yeah, let's, let's see what this person has, and then I'll pick another target too. So there's a level nine. Do this level seven. Okay, and here's a ten, but again, gotta watch the tags. Um, look at my screenshot; it should be good. But just to verify, CS42, you got a rank. Yeah, that should be fine. So I'll go ahead and scout that one too. Check the power, see what I'm dealing with. A thousand, so they're dead. Um, Anyone who reasonably plays at all is going to be at least 100,000 true power. So if it's below 100,000, it's definitely either a completely inactive person or it's just a bot. Um, and then the other giveaway is these names with like the two words like this usually means it's a bot. Um, not always, but it's usually a pretty good indication. So we'll see what these scouts come back with. Okay, it's getting closer, and that's the um, that's the level eleven. So this is a maybe. Let's see what else we got. That's no. And what level were they? Seven. This could be a maybe as well. I'll have to check what the resource limits are, which I'll I'll show you that in a second as well. Okay, this is a perfect one. Three million. So this is the one I'm actually going to save. Um, and so let me show you how you save it. So first you just, you know, if you're not at that location anymore, you go to your report, you click the coordinates, takes you there. Then you click the castle, hit this little favorite thing, give it a name. Um, it's not letting me click. That's a bug you get sometimes where it won't let you name your favorites. <sighs> okay. There, uh, there we go. So I, I like to just put RSS on the front just to remind me why I favorited it. But so you add it to favorites like that. And then you go to your map. Hit this little favorite bookmark thing. And there's your bookmark that you added. And then you could just jump to it anytime. All right. So this is the perfect target because they've got a lot of resources and no troops. So I'm gonna go ahead and just send my collection troop and here's what you wanna do. You wanna attack it, make sure you're in production, means you can send less troops. Um, and you pretty much just wanna slide this up 
until you're at about 200,000 capacity. Um, if you can do all pikes and cav, it's a little better because it's a little faster. I like to just do 200,000 just to give myself a little bit of extra room. The daily plunder is 100, but I've had weird problems where I would do like 150 or something and I would just fail for no reason. So I would just give yourself a little extra room, 200,000, and then you just send that off. And then in 20 minutes, you know, I should, you know, complete the daily plunder. Um, now, I will show you just one other thing I was kind of alluding to earlier. So there was that one report where it was kind of borderline. I'm like, okay, a couple hundred thousand. Is this protected or can I actually take this? So what you want to do is you go to the castle, see what the level is. It's 11. Then you go to the castle. Actually, I think it's a tavern. You go to the tavern, hit the exclamation. And then you can see by the level what the protected resources are. So at 11, 400,000 is protected, which means if you tried to attack that castle, you would get nothing. So unfortunately, that castle wouldn't have been, good, wouldn't have been a good uh, plunder target, but we got lucky and we found one. So that's pretty much how you plunder. And... The only last thing I'll say about it is um, these daily quests. I mean, you can actually get the 100 doing everything other than sending a message in the plunder. So you don't really have to do these two. Um, most days I don't. But um, if you have a saved plunder target, I mean, it's pretty easy. You just go to your favorite find the castle, send off some troops, and you're done. So hope that was helpful, and I hope you guys enjoy the game.